you have been elected um, on your promises, uh, what do you say about the broken promises? I promise to keep all the promises I've ever promised the promise to make. I've never broken a promise and I'm never going to break a promise. I promise and when I promise, I promise right and it stays promised. I'm not talking about breaking promises. I'm I mean, promising about... is one thing, but when I promise, the promise is never broken. I, whenever I, 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 let me add that my promises are promises, and I promise to promise promises. Yes, but, but I'm not talking about breaking promises. I'm talking about keeping promises. I, I never break a promise. I, as I've said in the past, I'll emphasise it once again. I continuously promise my promises. And they're always promised, and I never corrupt a promise, I never break a promise. But what promise have you actually kept? Every promise I've ever made. No, I, I don't... I promised that I would promise myself to promise every promise I promised. Oh, right. Where do you keep your promises? I keep them in my back pocket. I... How would you answer your critics that say that you are pushing Australia back into the 18th century education world? 18th century Australia was probably a very good place to be. Okay. And I feel that any changes I may be making through my ignorance, of course, let me point out everybody, I am prepared to accept I'm an ignorant woman, I'm prepared to accept everything I do is ignorant, but let me tell you, 18th century times, you may feel they are, but it is time for us to move backwards in order to gain a few steps forward. So what do you think of the previous government's policy of give them a job or give them a university place? Now they're going to have no jobs or no university place, so what do you plan to do with them? Now look here. Every single person stays at school, they stay on at school, they stay on at school till they're 35, then they go on to university till they're 65, and then they're complaining because they can't get a job. Now, what I suggest they should do is, they should stay on at school, they should learn things, then they should get on out there. Sure, some people, some people do not want to accept that they are not right enough to go to university. <laughs> now, I think it is time for us to accept that there are people in this world who cannot go to university. They are just as stupid as I am. Now, is that what you wanted? Did you wanted to say more? I mean, if you want more about the people like myself who are so ignorant, just don't go to university. Yes. Good evening. Now, it's been revealed that the statistics in Australia for domestic violence are quite extraordinary and quite over the top. What exactly is your department doing about this extremely serious social problem? I, I feel it is a problem, and um, and I think it is largely to do with the um, sociological problems with the males. I am now working on a a program of uh, g gendering the language uh, to to get away. I'm sure it's to do with the sexual um, bottle upness of the society. Exactly. And how are you how are you going to relieve the bottle upness towards so partly? interfering with the language? Well, uh, we're going to be interfering with the normal social patterns, instituting some uh, some research and study into into what makes people react the way they do. Mm -hmm. Have you thought, indeed, very seriously about um, castration or hormone treatments or anything along that line, Mr. Torso? You, uh, personally, yes, I have. Personally? Uh, Yes, personally, I have, and I, uh, well, we're going to make a film, actually. <laughs> yeah. I've been studying the young um, Trabied Islanders and, and, and how they get on as um, young children having sex at a young age, mm -hmm. and, um, and I've been doing my own personal research, and I find it, it, it does get away from the, <laughs> the, the latent aggressive to start your effect, would you say you are passing the buck with the issue of the police commission? No, the, the buck definitely stops with me. Yes. It's, it, the, the buck definitely, I am the leader of this party. I would look for the mandate to lead the party, and I will lead the party. And I tell you what, I am stopping the buck with me. In terms of where the buck goes after it stops with me, that isn't the matter. And it will be stopping with, of course, the people involved in passing the buck around. But the buck, of course, stops with me, yes. Well, Bluntly, who's going to fry? No, no fries. No people are going to actually be going to inquiry, which of course my I, my my doors are open, the doors are open, and I am going to be answering all questions, as will all of my department under my leadership. Uh -huh. They will be completely open. So no one is going to fry. 
Well, no, no, the fry is not what I would use. I think it's simply a matter of justice will be done. 